All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So we finally got him in. The Edifier W20TNs. So these are their latest active noise canceling earbuds. And there's a lot going on with these, man. So one important thing I want to note, there's a lot of specs behind this device, these earbuds. But we're going to go ahead and check them out. And I'll give you a sound test here in this video. I'll just give you my first impressions on them. And I'm going to use them for a little bit because currently my earbuds of choice are the latest Sony's, man, the Link Buds. So these are really good earbuds. And I'm going to see how they compare uh, next to the uh, new Edifiers. Edifiers is a brand that's, you know, they've had tons of exposure here in the U.S. and they're doing pretty good. So these have dual coaxial dynamic drivers. What does that mean? Two sets of drivers that are gonna make these sound incredible, especially when it comes to bass. Uh, you've got game syncing mode on here. You've got advanced Bluetooth 5.3. That's very important. They're claiming 25 hours of battery life, and I don't see that's why that's not possible at this point in the game. Uh, it definitely should be. And you've got these little areas on the top of the earbuds that are actually buttons. So um, you can customize them in the settings. Let's see what the presentation is looking like. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Nice presentation. I always like when, when companies take a little bit of time and a little bit of extra oomph into their packaging. So let's pop it open here, see what you got in here. So you got your Type-C. You got your manuals. And you got some extra earbud tips. And they've got them sealed up nicely there. And then here are the earbuds. Nice little box. They put some time into that box. Let's pop it open here. Here is the nice little case here. So you do have a sync button back here on the back. Uh, and then you've got a uh, type C button as well. Fill in that. Yeah, fill in that. So then you've got a nice lid on here. Let's see if this lid is magnetic. Oh yeah. We got a magnetic lid because I, you know, I don't like lids that flap down. So that is a huge plus. Now on the top of the earbuds here, you can see this is a touch sensitive area. On the front of the case here, it's in sync mode. It's ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a phone here. Get something here. I like that the case sits up like that. I think that's a good look. Let's get a phone here and let's go into Bluetooth. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's go into Bluetooth. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and uh pair a new device and they pop up immediately again they're in syncing mode right now so they're they're ready to go and they're paired up just like that battery is 100 percent they're ready to go and as you know right there that they're connected and it's at a hundred percent battery that's pretty dope I, i've actually never seen that before on this bar right here has anybody else ever seen their phone do that pretty dope i've never seen that before so let's get them out here and here's first look at the earbuds here. We'll get to the, back to the case in just a second. Uh, but they come in different colors, obviously. But here's black. And uh, this shiny area around here. You know, I'm not really a fan of shiny, you know, or, you know, glossy earbuds. But we'll see how that plays out. And then it's, it's like a separation. It's like a two-piece. So you've got that area right there. And then you have this area at the top with the with the controls in it. So you got the dual drivers in this area right here with microphones canceling go. And you got this area on the top that's for touching and controlling your tracks. So uh, a good look. Hardware is looking pretty nice. It's different. It's eclectic. It's a different looking earbud. So now you've got uh, the case itself. Now it's a plastic case. There's definitely nothing fancy about this case. Um, you know, no soft touch mat, no any kind of different rubbery texture, no nothing. So we'll see how this plays out. But um, I'll definitely follow up later on as far as battery life goes on here. If you want to sync these again and reset them, that's when you'll use this sync button more than likely there. So let's get these tried on and uh, I'm going to listen to them for a little while and then I'll come back to you. Well, I think it's official, man. Um, haven't made any phone calls yet, but music consumption is great. So the first thing I want to talk about is, wow, you know that feeling when you get the noise active cancel, noise canceling? The, the, the earbuds themselves, wow. Um, 
these earbuds, let me get a close up if I can here. Whoa. This little earbud has some serious, serious bass. And I think I've definitely contributed to the uh, dual drivers. I mean, I've I've gotten a lot of earbuds in and I've purchased a lot of earbuds. Uh, but man, these these sound really, really good. Uh, cranking the volume up between 70 and 100, you're really going to feel it and you're really going to um, hear the, the tones in every part of the, the genre of music that you're listening to. So, you know, for me, I've always said, you know, I, sometimes I think things aren't loud enough. Uh, and it just it depends on the device that you're using as well. Uh, if APTX is an option on your device, you definitely should use that device to listen to your, your content or your music or whatever. Uh, but uh, latency, everything seems to be fine with it. Uh, no problems with that. The sound quality is superb. Now, we'll have to follow up on battery, remember, because this is just a first impressions. Uh, but I don't think I'll have a problem with sound quality at all with these. I'm going to really take these on, on a long journey. Uh, I'm going to work out with them. I'm going to do some bike riding with it, too. Uh, just to see, you know, in that arena, how they stand up. Uh, but as far as listening to music and, you know, watching content, gaming, I didn't do any gaming yet, but maybe I'll test that later on too. But I'm really concerned about battery life. They're claiming 25 hours. Um, and I think we'll put it to the test. Most of the earbuds that I test, I've, I've yet to get any earbuds in that don't, you know, get the recommended usage for what the companies are offering or stating that they can actually do so. Uh, but every use case scenario is different. You might get them and get 15 hours instead of 20. And some people might get 23. Some people might get 30. You know, who knows? Uh, but in the end, this is a really nice set of earbuds. And I really really think these are cool. So I'll follow up again with battery life after I use them for a little while, but it's your man Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. First impressions are done.